Okay. Hello and good evening. Oh shit, my curls fell already. Hello and good evening. Um, today I am going to do this deck with you called Tarot of the Moors. So I originally said I had five decks, but clearly I forgot a deck. Um, well, I didn't forget a deck. I forgot a few decks. I have others. But I don't use those too much. I'm, I'm into certain things. And, you know, they have a deck for everything. So that's what those are. But besides that point. So earlier or previously, as I had stated on the other posts, um, research. Yeah. So if you're just getting into tarot readings, whether you are a reader or want to be a reader or whether you want to get a reading so that's what i'm here for if you would like to get a reading and also if you want to be a reader i just have a few things to say um research 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 uh i didn't have my books on me last time to pretty much show you guys um what i do so if i like if I have anything that I want to know anything more about, or not even that, like say when I did my tarot um, stuff, the first time I went to the bookstore and just randomly was like, oh, well, I want to do readings. And I picked up a book. Um, it was, there were plenty other books that I were there for initially. And that came across me as well. But yeah, so here's just a few. Um, read, read, read. Books, books, books. Research, research, research. Uh, this one is on astrology. Has I won't say it has nothing to do with your tarot readings because these cards that I'm about to read right now, um, they have astrological things into them. But I mean, it's you know more so for me. Um, so yeah, this this is called the botanical magic. Um, I'm big on herbs and everything. And yes, it says green witch, green witch girl um crystal energy for healing i showed you the reiki book pre previously and also the star signs and this is the tarot book i was speaking on it's called tarot 101 and it's really good uh it has a lot of things in there i haven't read the whole book yet i'm not gonna lie but it has a, a lot of things in there for you and it helps you learn a lot more about reading tarot cards and you know things that happen during readings and how you should conduct yourself during the reading um i would say this so i i met a girl who was getting into readings to an older lady and we used to you know give each other readings and speak a lot and like, the only issue that I would have with her whenever she did a reading for me is that she would always, if it was anything good, she would try to say, oh, well, maybe this card for me. I think this card for me. And that's why you do, hey, sweep your own rug before you come for anyone else's. So, under your rug before you talk about how anybody else shit dirty. You feel me? Sweep. Because if you don't, then... You will get into, or you know what? I won't even say is that a reason, but that's one of the reasons. You feel me? If you don't read yourself prior to reading other people, then you know you can do things like that, and that would throw off the reading. Or if you just, you know, don't don't become a reader for selfish reasons. That's all. That's the biggest thing about it. Don't become a reader for selfish reasons. Um, yeah, do it because you want to learn more about yourself, because you want to know um, more about yourself. You want to progress in life yourself. You feel me? You need to understand things about you. That's why I started, and I just fell in love with it. So, yeah, um, this is called the Sacred Herbs of Spring, another plant style and herb book, because I love um, planting, as you can see. Um, I love herbs and I, I, like I said, I make sea moss. Um, yeah, I like to try and stay as healthy as I can and all of those good things. So, numerology. I love my numerology book. When I first got that book, oh, I was doing 
everybody life numbers and destiny numbers and all of that stuff <laughs> i still love doing it but um i bought all of these things maybe like a year ago and maybe a little over a year ago a little over a year ago and i did it just you know to jump into it and to learn more for myself before i tried to put anything else out in the world because i was doing products like cosmetic products makeup uh skincare you know health foods and things of that nature so i have to make sure that i'm on point before i try to pass anything off or on to anyone else okay so now that i've said that um this is called tarot of the moors and it's a black lady who's an author this this is what like my big inspiration like her name is Gina, yeah, from, hmm. okay, it doesn't say where she's from originally, but, yeah, I love it, I love it, it's beautiful, this is like, this is the first, the first tarot book I ever purchased, or tarot pack, I've ever purchased and this one is big on like Egyptian times and Spain uh, I'm not gonna get into that because I'm indigenous American and when you look up things um, it will tell you that most of the certain where certain indigenous tribes originated from and most of them came out of Spain so I like this but yeah, okay, so this is, it's a small little booklet, no color. I like it, it's not too much to carry around. I can slide it in my purse if I wanna go travel and do readings or anything. So yeah, um, cards now. So these are for anyone who may feel they need this message, who has something going on, who has thoughts, who has anything that can come out in these cards. So let's go. I don't really like looking at them when I shuffle because I like to pull cards based off of what I feel instead of what I see. of the hearts so I mean as you can see the depiction you know 
a heart's broken beyond repair or trying to a heart that was broken beyond repair renewing or trying to fix itself but this is what the book says a trouble oh sorry I'm reading it it's reversed you no longer wish to fight the invasible and you finally let go you begin a period of recovery and healing and setbacks or delays turn out to be blessings in disguise so that's good clearly you must just got over something um and it's telling you right now that you got this you know your heart is on the right path your mind is in the right place just continue to push forward the next card is two of discs and this is upright and i also love them because you know it's melanated and different well they're not real people so they're not melanated but you know it's different skin tones on the cards and i appreciate that even more sorry y'all this book kind of small so it takes a minute sometimes okay it says two or more people or other activities take up most of your time Resolving an issue that makes everyone happy, you may find that money goes out as fast as it comes in, and balancing act is harder than you make it appear. So clearly you have a lot of things going on, and maybe you're dealing with one than more than one person romantically, or more than one person is pursuing you romantically. And you know, that's not, it's not bad to have choices. But, you know, we need some time to ourselves sometimes. That's what I feel like this is mainly saying, you know, you just got out of whatever you may have just gotten out of. So maybe it's time to just enjoy your freedom, enjoy yourself, learn yourself, all those good things. Let the fruits of your life and labor, <laughs> let the fruits of your life and labor grow. There you go. Okay. Um. The next is Four of Cups. Cups are emotional when you think of water. So that's the only kind of thing that helps me a little bit is the the names. Like cups uh, are always dealing in emotions and how you feel and stuff of that nature. But yeah, um, I forgot what discs is supposed to be. But they don't, you know, they say different things in each book. It you don't, know, it's not always cups and swords and discs and all of that, you know. Like, I have like a vampire book and it's like, I don't even think it says cups. I think it's like chalices and shit or something. I don't know. But yeah, you get my drift. So the next card is Ten of Swords. of swords it says you stand in the confusion of misfortune this is a moment of clearing blocks and changing old habits hmm. in order for this change to go as smoothly as possible you may be faced with an unpleasant realization about your situation you oh you will have to make an important uh, an important choice as if your life depended on it depended on it so um with this one, I can understand where it may fit with the other cards, as in, you know, learning how to grow and trying not to overthink and things of that nature. Um, bad things happen to good people. That's what I take from that. And also, this is the time for you to clear out your life. You know, um, if, if you have, if you are someone that has just, move from a crazy relationship or something you know and you're moving on and you know life is good right now and you're growing that's nice and it's saying don't take too much time to give don't give all your time to other people that you're currently dealing with if you're dealing with more than one person because that's it's a lot it can be a lot to handle to deal with several people it can be a lot to handle 
whether it's romantically, friendship, or what, or whatever, just having your that's that time, all of that. <laughs> you can't get back time. You can't, you know, your energy. You're sharing your energy with other people when you're around a person, so it doesn't matter. You know, make sure they have that great energy just as you do. And yeah, uh, let me go back to Four of Cups. But with the Ten of Swords, I completely get what that's saying still on the part of, you know, you had all of this previous stuff going on in your life or whatever you may have going on in your life now, currently still. You know, it's new. We get it. It's new drama, new situations, new peaks every day. So, you know, pretty much saying with the Ten of Swords that you need to clear all of that old drama and all of that old bullshit out of your life. Whatever you were going through, whatever, however it made you feel and however it may have made you start to act, let go, unlearn all of that and relearn how you can be open, but also, you know, be open, but be cautious. Like enjoy your life. And don't take it too seriously. Okay. So, that's all. Oh, I was supposed to do four of cups. Uh, again, reread it. You know what? Did I even read four of cups? Okay. It says, nothing is exciting as it used to be. You sink into a period of lethargy. Opportunities elude you. Ordinary, plain, mundane. So yeah, that one just was speaking on being bored. Uh, pretty much, yeah, just being bored and understanding how, you know, when you go through certain things, it can create a person, a shell of a person. When you go through things, it can leave a shell of a person instead of everything that fit inside, everything that went inside that shell and made that shell what it is. Now you're just this exoskeleton of who you used to be. And that's what this is saying, you know, get out of that. It's time to change your life. You can always make better choices. You can always wake up and say, hey, I want to do this. I'm big on that. Wake up in the morning and say... Like, what can I do today that will make me happy? What can I do today that will put a smile on my face? And you figure it the fuck out and you do it. So, have a great one. I appreciate you for listening. And I hope this found whoever it needed to.